Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we are gonna be messing a little bit further with this um, heat pump project. I am not gonna be connecting the other heat pump yet but I'm gonna be um, attaching the heat pump uh, again because um, well we left this off last time well I was kind of here I have replaced this holder up here where the pipes are gonna go in um, but other than that I, I haven't been cheating on you uh, it's exactly as we left it so I need to tighten that one and I need to um, unhook that and put that one in and put those two pipes back together and and then it should be back to where we were at before I took everything apart uh, except uh, the insulation I need to insulate all of these pipes as well so so that I'm not losing too much heat that way I'm just gonna put on the same kind of insulation again uh, it has been holding up for seven years or something like that if it holds up for another seven years it's fine let's get to it uh, I have already gotten the, the tools that I need, think I'm gonna need a big wrench, screwdriver to fasten the pipe to the wall and this to, um, to make sure there is a good connection uh, that it doesn't leak. I'm gonna be putting this horse hair on. Someone suggested in the comments that I should put this on before I put on this um, uni uni pack stuff the packing material that makes sure that this that water is not pissing out of it when I'm done uh, so I'm gonna try that and put the horse hair on first and see if that's easier to work with the idea was that it should not slide around when you do that it doesn't slide around so so far so good it didn't slide around either before but oh it didn't slide around this time either so far, so good. A stopper on here so that it wouldn't take in dirt. So we're gonna remove that. Come on. That went down really far. And then we'll put the pipe on. Get rid of that tape. Already pretty hard to turn around. So. And of course, it needs to point in the right direction here, otherwise, it's gonna be bad. Okay, it's getting tight, so probably make it stick out now. Just about there. Cool. Put the thinky on the other pipe. Ready to put this one on. One more turn on the other. There. And we need the pipe to come up and go in. Whoa. Now we can tighten this. That's very tight. That's nice. And now we just need to put the pipe in. And I think we can do some insulation right now before I I tighten it up. I think it's easier to put some insulation in right now. I was out shopping yesterday, so there is a bit of insulation in here that needs to come with us. And some coke. <laughs> Before I start mounting the insulation, I think I will um, I'll mount that uh, cable to the probably the bottom pipe. Hmm. Yeah, that's probably it. Okay, cool. The wires is kind of. Well, I, I need to figure out how to get them into the insulation over here. But the wires are taped to the lower pipe all the way over here. Um, 
Yeah, I hope that's good. So I'm gonna stop messing with this insulation. Okay, putting on this insulation is a shitty job if there ever was one. Um, so, I have kind of pushed the bottom insulation, the biggest piece on here. And there's not enough room to put another full piece. So I've cut out a slot. So it doesn't go all the way around. So now I can kind of put it down like that. I just made this as a test piece. So I should be able to do that on the other piece and it doesn't go all the way over there so I need to cut something out there as well. So I'm cutting out the slot now on this full. Oh, I cut out uh, so that the insulation is the right length so that I didn't have to do this on more than I need to. This cuts really well, so that's a plus. Cool. I made a slot. So last time I broke one of these holders that was supposed to uh, hold the, the lines into the wall. I have already replaced it. As I said, I bought a new one. So I'm gonna fasten that now um, to the wall. Doesn't really see you. It doesn't really look like it adds up down here. Trying to put that in and I broke it. And uh, I broke off one piece and then I thought that's weird, it's very. And then I tried the other piece and it uh, I could break it off with my hand. I'm gonna try this piece, see if it's if it's just as bad. <sighs> no, it's not that bad. Okay. Okay, I'm working on it. It's uh, it's drizzling ever so slightly out here. I think we should go into the basement and turn on the water for the system because if it's pissing out somewhere, uh, now might be a good time to stop insulating. And of course the, the pump is running down here. That little camera happy sucker has always wants some attention when, when I'm doing anything. So. Um, Let's see what we have here. The water that you can hear is the pump working. So let's turn on the connections here. This one is the warm water going out. Goes that way. Come on. Ah, open. And the other one. Open. And we can hear air coming out there, so there's definitely some air in the system. So, but we better go see if it's if water is getting out anywhere. The quick system, just stick the head out of the window. See if anything. Mm, I can't see anything coming out. But let's go out there. It's it's raining kind of a lot right now. Might have to cut this short. Let's see. I can't see anything bad over here. Um, it doesn't matter if it's just a little leak. Uh, just don't want a big leak. So let's uh, open this up and we should get some water out. It's another. Yeah, let's putting out a little bit of wind. There is definitely air in the system. It's, there should be with all that. There's all the air that was in the pumps. Can see. Yeah, we 
we'll just let it settle for a second again. This is brilliant. Okay, let's give it a little bit. And now it's a little bit more difficult because I've been playing with water. But so far, still nothing. I could of course open those, but that's just, well, of course it would let out water then. Hmm. But that is where we're going to be connecting the new heat pump. Let's try again here. I think we're good now. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna pack it up for today. All my things are getting wet, and I just left this, and it's it's drizzling. So gotta bring the tools inside. That one might, might take that and make it smaller, so we don't hurt ourselves too much. And that one, and the tape. That does not like rain either. So. Okay. The piping for the heat pump came in and this wasn't too bad. <laughs> I've never gotten a package like this before. They, there's a 5 meters of 32 millimeter PE pipe here and it's, um, it's water graded. You can use this for your water supply. I'm a bit disappointed that this, um, it has taken some damage here. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this was a package <laughs> that the, the mailman delivered, or package man. And there are some um, some fittings for that. And these they are actually cheaper than than metal fittings, so that's kind of cool. And this pipe is heat resistant up to 190 degrees. And at that point, it it breaks about 10 bars. I don't think that is, um, I don't think it will do 10 bars at that degrees, but um, I'm gonna be using that for my heat pump, connecting this to one end, and then I got 90 degree angle as well. And I don't know, I kind of like these, so I was actually thinking about maybe putting these in both ends, pointing down and then digging a little uh, on the ground over to the heat pump. And it should be really easy to insulate this. I believe it uses the same insulation that I've just been messing with. So um, yeah, and I just test fitted this uh, to see how it was to work with. And you get a really good connection. And there is, uh, there are some rubber seals in here that you put on and then you, well, when you, when you press this together, it gets a really good connection and should hold up really nicely. So yeah. Yeah, I am trying to figure out if, if this is a thumbnail. I reattached the pump, so I would actually be able to go down into the basement and turn on the pump and it could uh, make heat for me. At the moment I would have some great losses because I haven't completed the installation yet. Uh, it is really a dreadful job sitting out there in the dirt trying to fit all that styrofoam insulation and cutting out a little slot and see how it fits now. So uh, I'm gonna postpone that to a later date when it's not raining outside and I'm not getting wet. So thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye bye. Oh, check out my little shop. <laughs>